Well, thank you all for coming out today. Uh, it is a momentous day in Harrisburg and in Steelton and, and in central Pennsylvania. We are here to announce officially a, uh, a intergovernmental agreement which both the Borough Council of Steelton and the Harrisburg City Council have voted unanimously to enter into regarding uh, trash and recycling services for the Borough of Steelton. Uh, arrayed uh, around me are a wonderful group of elected officials, uh, both from Steelton and Harrisburg City, as well as our uh, public works team uh, here. And uh, behind us you'll see some of the actual trucks which the city has invested in very recently, part of our fleet of trash trucks which will be uh, servicing the borough. I'd just like to say that uh, in, in my opinion it is this type of intergovernmental cooperation, this type of, of outside the box thinking by elected officials which, uh, which has great benefit uh, and, I, and I hope other municipalities are, are paying attention. With the number of municipalities we have in Harrisburg, there are opportunities everywhere for cost savings that will benefit our residents, benefit taxpayers, if we work together and we look to forge relationships like these. And it doesn't just have to be for sanitation, it can be for public safety, it can be for purchasing, it can be for any, any type of uh, intergovernmental cooperation. But uh, too often than not, sometimes we're in our own silos and we're not looking at the big picture. But in this case, elected officials listened. Uh, the borough of Steelton listened to its residents as residents came out and complained about the lack of accountability, which they felt uh, in the private sector. And uh, we listened to our residents, which were looking for opportunities uh, to uh, ensure the continued growth of our sanitation services and uh, to ensure additional revenue streams to pay for all of the wonderful new equipment that we have purchased and financed over the past several years. Um, I'm very pleased that we were able to offer a rate which is um, a, a benefit and uh, very, very competitive, a benefit to residents, and that we're able to do this in a way which has minimal disruption of services, which is our goal. When you think about it, it was less than a month ago, I think, that we even began the conversation about this agreement and to, to have put together um, uh, first an interim agreement and then to have multiple uh, hearings and votes by public bodies uh, unanimously. To do all that in a short uh, time frame is really a remarkable tribute to people uh, with a desire to, to get things done. So um, I want to thank uh, I want to thank all of the elected officials in Steelton Borough for their interest in partnering with the city, and I want to thank our workers here and our team, which is embracing this opportunity for uh, uh, additional work and providing services to an even larger community than just Harrisburg proper. It was not many years ago uh, when the city was deep uh, in uh, the the throes of uh, near bankruptcy that uh, it was proposed that the city outsource its uh, public works department um, and uh, potentially go with a, a private hauler. And if we had made that mistake then, I think we would have been left without uh, the ability to think outside the box today and without the ability to really address the needs of our residents. And that's what this is about, making sure that our residents are serviced professionally, promptly, and that they have people that they can call. Speaking uh, out loud to uh, the residents of Steelton, uh, a couple things that you should know. Uh, one, uh, the uh, city will be taking over service uh, the first Wednesday in July. Nothing changes for you in terms of what you can put out at the curb. You can still put out the bulk item. You can still put out your current uh, containers up to the limit, which is uh, allowed under uh, Steelton code. Uh, and we will come and service those. You will also be receiving at some point in July a welcome letter from the city of Harrisburg as well as an initial quarterly bill for these services which uh, is at uh, $75 a quarter, $25 a month plus a small administrative fee. Uh, this uh, is in that welcome letter there will be an opportunity to give us your feedback on the type and size of new toter container that you would like. And arrayed also behind us uh, for the media to see and for others to see is an assortment of different sizes and shapes of toters. Now, uh, of course, we have the large 96-gallon toter, but we also have uh, much smaller varieties that are easy to get down narrow breezeways or down steps. They all have wheels, and importantly, they all work with the machinery of the modern trash truck in a way that allows for us to service them in a way that doesn't put undue um, uh, strain on our employees and also keeps things needed 
meter because they all will come with lids, including the recycling containers, which we will also be rolling out for Steelton. So look for that letter. Uh, residents have an opportunity to see examples of these toters at uh, the Steelton Municipal Building, where they can see various sizes, and here at the Public Works Building on Paxton Street in Harrisburg. We'll also put the dimensions and things in the welcome letter to residents. Be happy to answer your questions in a moment, but I'd like to let a couple other uh, individuals say a few words, and I want to uh, now turn the mic over to Steelton Borough Council President Brian Proctor, who has uh, the uh, uh, d d d distinguished um, uh, status of being the person who first brought this idea to the city for contemplation. And at the time, we weren't actually sure if it could be done, but, uh, but through perseverance, we were able to do it. So, Brian, the mic is yours. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. First, I want to thank my council here, because without my council, we wouldn't be able to get anything done. I think this council thinks outside the box. We have a great public works director in Dennis Hefner, and this council has always been progressive and moving forward. With that being said, this isn't a bash, a bash session of Republic. We did business with Republic for 10 years, and they serviced some, some of the residents in the municipality very well. However, unfortunately, you know how it is. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. Um, so, unfortunately, we had, to, we had to go a different direction, but it, for us and our residents, it makes sense financially. And, 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 and being able to provide them these here toters are a huge thing for our residents. Um, the Stilton Borough itself, Doug Brown, the mayor, and everybody will be providing additional, additional information to our residents just to let them know, you know where we're at with things, this is what it's going to look like on top of what the Harrisburg City is going to provide as well. Um, I'm just happy that we could get this done. It's a testament to, like, like our Mayor Papenfu said, to his council and, 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 and my great council that I, I have the pleasure of serving with and leading. Um, so that's it. That's all I have to say is I think I'm turning the mic over to Aaron. <laughs> yes, that sounds good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's a great day. It's uh, like I said uh, yesterday. Uh, this, is a, this is a wonderful thing us being able to help our neighbors. You know, uh, again, I'm um, class of Harrisburg guys, class of '76, and we used to have great battles against Stilton. You know, I can remember Greg Manning. Uh, you got uh, Councilman Bowers. Her dad was a basketball star down there. Danny Bowers. So uh, the, the Alberts. You know, uh, the, the Caters, uh, the Cobbs. So I can go go on and on. So uh, again. Uh, it's like I know Stilton, so this is what's supposed to happen. You know, uh, again, uh, I'm so glad that the administration that I work for that we didn't outsource our sanitation department because, again, it's like uh, the city of Harrisburg's own department. And I know for a fact, I've been here 25 years, that, you know, we had outsourced our sanitation department. That would have been the worst mistake that we could have made. So, again, uh, uh, with us coming on board with Stilton, uh, our guys is excited. Uh, it's not a challenge, it's what we do, and uh, we're going to give you the best service uh, that we possibly can, get, can. And I want the citizens of Harrisburg to know that our service is not going to drop with you. It's nothing different. Uh, we got a crew down in Stilton, so we're not taking away worth our working employees from the city of Harrisburg. But again, this is a, this is a, this is a great opportunity, and I want to thank uh, Brian and, and uh, the rest of the city council and the mayor for giving us this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron, and I want to acknowledge uh, Councilwoman Danielle Bowers with Harrisburg City Council again to get two different uh, municipal councils to vote unanimously in the span of just a few weeks is, uh, is a pretty remarkable testament to the desire uh, for everyone to work together. And although municipal boundaries may geographically divide us, in reality we're all one community and we all want the same things for our, our families and our residents. So this is, uh, this is terrific. So uh, we have the media here, so are there any questions regarding how this wonderful intergovernmental agreement is going to work or uh, anything at all? What was the turnaround like? like when was this proposed to, you know, to today? So uh, uh, originally, uh, there, uh, uh, Stilton Borough issued an RFP for uh, uh, sanitation services. Um, I believe they uh, only had one response to that RFP, and uh, they uh, it, were not pleased with that response and decided to reject that bid. At that point, um, uh, we were willing to step in and enter into an intergovernmental agreement, um, and all of this transpired really just over the past several weeks, which is uh, which is a pretty remarkable thing. 
Um, uh, luckily, we have the vehicles and the fleet, and as Aaron mentioned, uh, because the pickup was on Wednesday, operationally, this was possible for the city to do. It was our, uh, our lightest day. We have a fleet of 16 of these uh, trash trucks, and we service uh, many different neighborhoods in the city, but on Wednesdays, we had the capacity to be able to do this and uh, to do it without having to invest in new vehicles or invest in new staff. And as a result, uh, this was an opportunity that we, uh, we were really, really pleased to, to, to grab hold of and work together on, but of short turnaround for sure.